Hey, I'm Julie, and today I'll be showing you one of our latest feature, which is the search bar function. So you are here on the look back dashboard. I have a few projects here. I also have some settings on my left hand side and I'm seeing the search bar right here, which I'll click on. Now we land on the search bar. You can see I have quite a few options. I can search for phrases. I can search for phrases with a word that I'd like to remove by using the minus sign. And I can also include um, the or condition if I want to look for something or something else. So before we get going and we search for something, in the various projects we have in Look Back, I want you to know that whatever you're searching for, um, you'll get to see that word or that phrase in projects that you have access to. So let's go ahead and let's look for one word which I know I've used in the past, the word red. So I'm gonna click on search. And here we go. I mean, that is pretty crazy how fast it goes, right? So it picked up on 27 different results. And if I scroll down, you can see that red has been used by several different people. So obviously me, because I know I've used that word, but we have also uh, some other people such as Henrik who's used that word. And you can see it doesn't only look through projects, but it also looks all the way through the notes, highlights, sessions, and even transcription. So, you know, as, as the participant would have said it. Another really cool thing is the following option to filter out whatever you're looking for. So, you know, I have 27 results, but I might want to look for transcription only because I actually want to see what, well, whom, said it um, and in what project. So now you can see the minute I chose transcription, it went right down to nine results, which is kind of what I was looking for. Um, and I can see here that there are a few projects, rounds of research that have been done. So I'm actually going to look at this one made in December. Um, you can see that there is a link option right here. So I'm gonna copy that link. And the really cool thing is when you copy that link and you paste it in a new tab or you send it to someone who will then paste it in a new tab, they'll get right there in that moment. They'll actually land on that timestamp transcript. Right here, two minute 22 red shoes. And that's the magic of the search bar at Look Back is that ultimately it goes extremely fast to get to where you want to get and you always get to land in that moment. The other cool thing is that now I know I am in that round of research in that project, but ultimately I could go through every single project, every single transcription that has that word read in it. And that gives me a really, you know, nice way to start exploring uh, what I have in all my projects and look back because there are things we did back in 2022, 2021, you know how it works. So go ahead, have fun, check out the search function and, and you know, let us know how you feel about it. Okay, happy researching. Bye.